Hi, this is John Sawash, and in this video, you're going to learn some neat tricks that you can use with Google Calendar. Now, Calendar is a great tool for teachers and educators to keep track of all kinds of things, but Calendar will be even better if you start using these uh, little secret tricks. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add something to my calendar. Uh, every Wednesday, we have a staff meeting um, after school from uh, 3 p.m. to 3.30. Uh, fair enough, got that in there. But there's one cool thing that I've started to do because over time your calendar kind of gets kind of blah. There's a lot of things in there. It's hard to differentiate between them. I have begun adding emoji to my calendar events to signify uh, various things. So I'm going to use the briefcase emoji for my staff meeting. And so when I look at this event in my calendar, I can immediately identify because of the emoji what that is. You can see over here I've got phone call with Mrs. Jones. So I'll use the phone emoji there. Just a way to bring a little more color, a little more pizzazz, a little flair to my Google Calendar. Now let's go ahead and open up uh, this staff meeting event. Uh, we can add in the details if we want, but one of my absolute favorite things to do in Google Calendar is use this option right here, add attachment. Um, I know that uh, every staff meeting I've been to usually starts with the question, who has the agenda? Hey, can you reshare the agenda with me or something like that? So I can just search for uh, meeting agenda, find it in my drive account and attach it right to this calendar uh, invitation. So when I add everyone in, not only do you get the event details, they also have the attachment. I can say, hey, it's in Google Calendar, instead of having them look through Google Drive to find it. So that's uh, really slick. You can see that listed right there. So that's uh, my first two tips, um, adding emoji and attachments uh, to your calendar. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is an integration with Google Task. Now I've looked at Google Task and Google uh, and Gmail, but uh, it's over here on the right side of your screen, this little sidebar. So if I pull this open, I can add a task. I can say, um, um, finish agenda for staff meeting. I can click the pencil, add some details, what I need to include on that meeting. But if I add a time, so the staff meeting is on the 15th. So by the 14th at um, noon, I need to have this um, set up so that uh, everybody can preview the agenda before uh, the meeting. So I'll go ahead and save that. And when I do that, it adds that meeting to my calendar or that task. I can see it here in my calendar or in Google Tasks. If I go to Gmail, I can see it there, even in Google Drive. So it's the integration of calendar and my to-do list that's uh, really, really cool. Last cool calendar trick that I want to show you. This is specifically um, useful for education. Now, this feature here will only work if you're in a G Suite for education or business account. I'm going to click to add a new event, and you will see an option for appointment slots. If you are a teacher who's responsible for um, uh, booking parent-teacher conferences or coordinating those uh, meetings with parents, this is incredibly helpful. So what you do is you do parent-teacher conferences. We'll do appointment slots. Um, those conferences are going to take place on the 22nd between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. in 15-minute increments. Okay, so you set that up. Go ahead and save that. And it's going to place that on my calendar. Let me adjust the uh, time here. One day. There we go. Um, but the cool thing is you're going to get a link to a special website. So this one right here. You're going to email this link to whoever is going to be booking these appointments. They're going to come to this page. So if they um, when they visit you know, the 22nd, which is when the... Um, uh, the conferences are available. They can click on any of these available time slots to reserve that appointment. So they would type in their name, whatever you tell them, and then that slot would be reserved. So it can't be double booked and you'll see exactly who's coming at which time period. You could set this for office hours, parent-teacher conferences, 
um, even for students, if you want them to book a, a time to review maybe an essay or a you know, lab report with you, um, they could schedule that in advance. So it's a slick feature. Again, when you go into your calendar, only a G Suite for education or business um, version, you'll see that appointment slots. A couple of quick tips to help you get more value out of your Google Calendar.